Okay guys, we're going in the greenhouse this morning and I know you're wondering why I'm dressed this way. Freaking 32 degrees and with a 15 mile an hour wind. It's cold with about an 80% humidity. Yeah, it's cold. So I'm wearing this into the greenhouse. I may have to pull it off in here, but we're coming in. I got something I really want to show you. See all the tomatoes we got? Look at this. Look at those tomatoes. Woo, honey. Talk about having some tomatoes. Look at him. Tomatoes. In January. And let's look at the red. We still got a few red candy onions here coming along. Uh, they haven't quite got big enough yet to put out in the garden. We're going to wait till this hard freezing weather this next week's over. We'll put them out. Look at these beautiful yellow pear tomatoes. It won't be long, guys. They're actually coming on good. We actually have several plants of them here on this side of the greenhouse. And they are, I mean, look at this. I'm six foot three inches tall. These things are way up above me up here. We come out here every day. We kind of bump them along like this and, you know, help to ensure that they get pollinated. We're excited about that. They're all down in here. They're beautiful. And over here, look at this. Yellow Marconi. I stay on Wanda. I told her, you can't touch my yellow Marconis yet. Look at this. Look at the size of these things. You can't really tell with a camera. But look, this is my hand. I got big hands. Look at this. If I can get these leaves out of the way. Look at that. That's some big peppers. They hadn't turned yet. We're just holding on. And we got a plant right up here. This yellow Marconi, we have several of them already turning. We've been eating off of this plant and eating off of it. Oh, guys, it is so good, these yellow Marconis. Got some more over in there. They're trying to turn. They'll be getting in there. We have a Meyer lemon here in our greenhouse. The limbs are actually covered up with little blooms fixing to pop out on it. In January, guys, look at all these blooms. There must be a hundred of them on this tree. They're everywhere. we got to get in here and get a little bit more fertilization to the tree we don't want to over fertilize it but it's doing fantastic now this is what this video is all about i had aphids got on my red roaster pepper plants and it got on my bell pepper plants that were over here they got covered up with aphids because it was so warm in here so i went just like everybody else i went to the internet What's a natural remedy for getting rid of aphids on pepper plants? Well, they said take some mild dishwashing liquid, dilute it into some water, put it in a spray bottle, spray it on the plants to get rid of the aphids. Well, now I want you to look right here. You see this? This is a spray bottle with a little bit of dishwashing liquid diluted into it. Just a little bit, not much, not even a, about a, not even a teaspoon, less than a teaspoon. Dilute it into this water. And I sprayed all my pepper plants with it. You know what happened? It killed every one of them. Now the bell peppers I've already threw out of here. I thought I didn't think about it. They're laying on the ground out here. I'll show them to you in a minute. But the red roasters were doing so beautiful. And they were blooming, fixing to have peppers on them. And I'm going to show you what they look like now. Look down here. This is the red roasters. It literally killed my plants. They're all dying. Look at this one here. See, I'm gonna see if I can get one of these leaves off. See the underneath of this leaf here? We had an aphid infestation get started. And I did what the book said and the internet said and I sprayed the dishwashing liquid on it. Now, all my pepper plants are dying. I have no more peppers other than the Marconis. They did not attack the Marconis. They only attacked the red roasters and the bell peppers. And they're gone. I'm so sad I waited all fall for these to actually bear peppers. And they were blooming so beautiful. Getting ready to put little peppers on. And I lost them all. Now the plant is not completely dead yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave the red, the red roasters. I, I'm not going to lie. Out of anger. I snatched the bell peppers up and threw them out in the yard. Because I was angry. 
and I tried to follow the advice of the internet it didn't work it killed all my peppers never again will I use dishwashing liquid and soap soapy water on my plants to kill aphids I'll never do it again that, that taught me a valuable lesson here in my greenhouse I'm just a little disappointed you wait all winter and all fall to have beautiful peppers and I was going to actually move these into the garden when uh whenever they got when it when it got warm enough so I'd have a big jump but unless they pull out for some reason um that ain't gonna happen so don't always believe everything you read on the internet I always go and look for YouTube videos like this that shows you the actual results of doing what you've read so guys take my advice it ain't worth it to me look for another remedy for aphids don't use the dishwashing liquid one guys thank y'all from deep south homestead